Hi everyone, it's Eileen Burns here from the Spiritual Marketing Club. And today I want to talk about the psychology of marketing and how it applies even to a soul aligned spiritual business. So no matter if we like it or not, every single product that we tend to buy in, our, in the shops or online, there tends to be um, a psychological aspect is used in the concept of selling that product or service to you. And it can be in relation to the color that is sold in, um, the way that the, the, even the color that it's produced in, or the font that's used, the branding that's used, the words that's used to describe what someone is selling or, you know, is, is sending you. There is lots of things that are used. And most people are so um, used to being on the receiving end of being marketed to, they don't even recognize the subtleties that are within the marketing concept. Now, the reality, if we like it or not, is that there are certain strategies that in, are in marketing the work, and there is certain approaches to advertise and marketing something that may not work or less likely to work. And one of the things that we hear a lot and, you know, in the spiritual community is, in the coaching community as well, is all about alignment. And I hear people say, you know, as long as you're aligned, you'll attract clients. Um, as long as you're in alignment in what you're doing, you will attract, you know, who you're to work with. And of course, there's a certain element of that. But many people misunderstand that, meaning that all they need to do is just go and do what they do. And often what happens is that they don't market their business effectively. They don't really show up. They think they're showing up as them. They think they're marketing their business in an aligned way, but often there is many things that they're doing that is incongruent with what either they're selling or incongruent with them or their audience. So let me explain. So when we are being sold something, there's, there's many factors that go on the conscious and the unconscious that make us decide about buying that product or service. Now, you may look at it as energy, right? But for example, Someone can have the perfect product or service for you, and they could be aligned exactly what you need. But if they are the maybe are fearful of their marketing or they get someone else to do their marketing, and that person is not showing up as them or uses certain way of brands or words that is not aligned with that business or services, you are seeing something different than what actually represents the energy of that business and the business message. And it's if we look at it even in the opposite way, many large corporate companies manipulate the consumer by leading them to believe that they are a certain type of of sort of an example, many um, companies that use very toxic products and dangerous even components in their products, even if it's foods or drugs or whatever, or toxins, right? They use the nurture, they use this um, marketing approach that gives people a sense of safety and they use colors, they use words, you use music, you use scenes to project, project this feeling to trigger certain nice feelings that make you feel safe, protected, calm and relaxed when the reality of the product or service they may be often may, may not be that calm, relaxed or safe product that they're actually trying to project it to be. Now, we've all seen those, these 
adverts, some ridiculous adverts, they almost kind of imply that if you buy your product, you're suddenly going to be this god or goddess and that you are going to be this sexy thing. And we see even in the spiritual sector where people imply to such an extreme that you're going to achieve exactly this when you do this. Of course, many programs and products and services depend on how the person applies the tools, what level of awareness they have to understand it, and that they actually do the work, right? But we also have the other side of it in the industry, and the reality is that make people make promises in the spiritual sector every single day that they cannot fulfill, and that the products or service doesn't fulfill. I seen an advert just a couple of days ago, and out of curiosity, I clicked it, and it was, Someone was a coach who was implying that it was to do with manifesting an abundance or something, but the claims were really bold. And what really kind of um, kind of really made me kind of stop think was when I read the copy on the landing page, it more or less said that this one session could clear all that person's blockages, all that person's trauma. When the reality is. There is very few tools and techniques that can do that, right? That's reality. And I don't know how many things I've been sold by people who say that this, in, 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 in relation to just going on to one session or a couple of sessions, and that will completely clear. And then, you know, it's what it is. It's lucky if it's, it's just um, touched the surface. And of course, we also have other things that work on a certain level at that moment. But then you move away from that situation and the energy changes and you're back to where you begun. Now, these are examples of where people are using the psychology of market to manipulate, to be dishonest. And most consumers today are sick and tired of that type of market. And that's one of the reasons that most spiritual businesses really hate overhype, oversell, and manipulative selling. And it's one of also the reasons why I always suggest to businesses that you should try and beta test things and always try and test things out to check that your products or services are actually doing what you claim that they actually do. Because we can presume that something does something for us, but that doesn't mean that it's always going to have the same results for other people. And of course, it does depend on if they're actually applying. But the reality is the psychology of marketing is a bit of science. It's a bit of energy and alignment. But alignment can mean even the, the way, that, the pathway that you have set up for that audience to go on. The alignment that your product and service is sold and in a way that feels aligned. So you may be aligned, but the way that you're selling it may not feel aligned with the, the audience. Or maybe you're taking advice from someone that is not in alignment with how you do things or maybe not the same archetype of you or your, the business doesn't have the same energy as them. It's like a rebel and a maverick trying to tell a nurturer how to market their business or an alchemist trying to tell maybe, well, alchemists and creatives can sometimes have some things that they can sell, you know, the same way. But for example, a ruler or a leader trying to tell an innocent archetype how to market their business. Marketing is in many ways, science, psychology, energy, it's also statistics and probability, right? Because even when you're in alignment, there's more probability that you will attract certain clients. And of course, when you are truly in your purpose and you're truly aligned in what you do, things start to naturally flow. But if you're showing up and you're showing up in a way in which you've been taught rather than what is really you, or if you are unsure how to present your products and services in a way that actually shares the unique you can come across misaligned. So the psychology of marketing can be used in a spiritual and soul aligned way. And it's one of the big reasons why I use, and I love to use the 
archetypes in my and brand personalities. Now, I do use archetypes in probably a slightly different way than most other businesses, branders and marketers do, because I use it in a spiritual way and in an energetic way. And I'm all about trying to help the healer and the spiritual coach or whatever understand their energy. And this is where when you're a healer, you understand that it, everybody's energy. It's not just about one person being a higher vibration. It's a different essence, a different vibra vibration, a different flavor. And one of the biggest things I also see is people trying to sell what they like rather than what they are. So if you find yourself in your branding and marketing just selling what you like, but not actually sharing the essence of your products and services and the energy of the products and services or the essence of you within that, you can find yourself actually just um, selling something that you would like to receive or that you need. So what you do, that is misalignment. So I think when people talk about alignment, there is often misunderstanding and it's not as maybe clear cut as how people perceive and how they see. So when you can understand the psychology of market and even understand the psychology of your social media and understand certain principles, marketing gets easier. But one of the biggest things that I see is many people come in very naive and they think that marketing is something that they can just learn in a couple of hours or an hour, or they come on for a session and they want you to solve all the problems in that one hour. And it's like any tool or technique, right? It takes time to understand it. It takes time to master it. And there's reasons why many people who become marketers you know, take about four or five years to become a really good marketer. And even when they went to college and learned all these things, it can take them many years to be an expert in it. And it's just like many things. Of course, there's certain systems and processes that make certain things um, easier and more simpler. And the whole point is that we try, we're about trying to make it more simpler and, and whatever. But one of the things that I believe, it's not just a bit more simpler, it's about making something deeply effective. And I believe that you want the, the whole point of a spiritual marketing approach is that you hit, you make a really deep connection, a soul connection with your audience. You make a really deep connection that hits a more ethical value and like an aligned way that is that it's not just superficial it's more deep it's something that is at a deeper level and that you are making a deeper impact and that's one of the reasons why I help people with the psychology of color the psychology of their archetype the psychology of their clients not just conscious needs unconscious needs okay so if you would like more information about you know different ways that you can grow and build your business in a soul aligned spiritual way check out my my site and my blogs at www.spiritualmarketingclub.com and check out the spiritual marketing club membership you get access to hundreds of pounds worth of content for only a nominal fee each month. And there is different levels where you get access up to, you can get access in the platinum level to over £1,200 worth of business and marketing content uh, and a, an affordable price for any coach, healing or therapist. So have a day, have a great day. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.